All right, so today what's going on this the lift here is this pallet jack. And what it is doing is when it's un, when it's unlocked, it'll go up, but then you could pump it all day long. It'll go up little bits and it always bleeds down. So you can see that pump it up, bleeds right back down. You just can't get any height on it. So I assumed it might be that this little thing was pressing on it and you know, whenever this uh, was always depressing, but that's not it. Um, I took this side apart and I took the valve out of it and it didn't, uh, I took the side apart, took the little valve out of it, didn't do anything. So I am going to take uh, this whole little, um, I guess, release assembly apart and check it out. And then if it's not that, then I'm going to get into the top here. Uh, because I know there's some seals in here that might have a hole in it. So, uh, give me one second. I'll get it on the lift, and we will uh, look into it. All right, I got this broken loose. Okay, so I took uh, the plunger out, and then I pumped it, and the fluid level came up, and it stayed up. It didn't, I mean, there's no barely any pressure on it, just gravity. So, uh, I'm going to put the plunger back in and push it down and see if it'll go down. If it won't, then maybe the check valve was the problem what i found i put this plunger back in and i pushed it down by hand and as i pushed it down by hand fluid came up around this uh with just me pushing it by hand so if if me if the if you know 20 pounds of pressure will let fluid escape past this then this is the problem uh because it should be it should be tight it shouldn't let all that go past so i think this is just old and brittle so i'm going to take this off and i'm going to order a new one and uh yeah, bring it back when I grab the part. All right, this is off, and it is hard as a rock. Hard as a rock, so I'm not surprised that it's uh, letting fluid bypass. All right, so a week later, I have the new, uh, I guess this is a piston seal, um, and it is... It is pliable. The other one feels like it's a brick. This one uh, feels like it will be better. So I am thinking that this is the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and install it onto the piston and we'll drop it in here and see if it's any better. All right, a quick peek before I have it all the way back together. I put this new seal in and it is extremely tight in there as to where the last one was. Uh, like I could push it by hand and fluid would come out past it. I've been pushing it down in there. It is way way tighter so i think this is gonna be a good fix all right so seals replaced you can see already that it's holding it's not leaking out i'm gonna try to lift something up maybe the side by side or something uh to just put some weight on it to see if it's actually going to hold some weight all right i got it under my ferris zero turn you can see wheels are off the ground it's holding it's holding up so that was a good fix thanks for watching i hope this video helps you if it does please subscribe to my channel because that helps me and i appreciate it thanks